جامعة ماست هي جامعة جديدة ومتألقة في مجال التطور التكنولوجي تتقري باللغة الإنجليزية وتوفر دي ليسونس ودي ماستير في سوفتوير انجينيرينج داتا ساينس سايبر سيكيورتي اي ارتفيشال انتليجنس اسسها مجموعه من العلماء المتميزين في العالم اللي مستعدين بخبراتهم وعلاقاتهم باش يعاونوا ويأطروا كل تلميذ مغروم بالانفورماتيك ويطمح انه يتمتع بدراسه ذات جوده عاليه تفتح له افاق عالميه اما في اكمال دراسته البرة في جامعات مرموقه ولا في التحصل على شغل بسرعه في تونس ولا البر وزاد في تأطير وتشغيل في البحوث التقنيه عبر المراكز العالميه ماس يونيفرستي موجوده في الاكتروا واتصل بين Hey there, our second writing. We'll move now to the third writing, Brain Drain. We saw in the devoir in unit number three, try to convince people to come back to your country. But here we will talk about something else. We'll be talking about the two points of view. Brain Drain. These days, more and more people think and take the step to leave their home countries either to finish their studies or work in more developed countries since they are offered better opportunities. Do you think that relocating into a foreign country is beneficial? Don't start in a right. Write an article to your school magazine in which you state your point of view by providing at least three sound reasons for your choice. Don Huni you should choice sorry, you should choose one point of view, either yes or no. Okay, here we go. Kona Ahna, we must write an article. Dong, we start with a title. A brain drain or a brain gay? That could be a title. Here we go. Brain drain is defined as the immigration of skilled human resources for work, education, etc. Young, well-educated individuals are more likely to emigrate, especially in pursuit of higher education and economic improvement. The phenomenon of brain drain appeared in the 1960s. Nowadays, this type of migration has become very common and it's considered as a global issue. So, this is the introduction of the question. The question you give your point of view. Do you accept? Here it goes. I personally believe that people who decide to live and work abroad do that for different reasons. First, they are offered better chances and more job opportunities thanks to the degrees they obtained. Moreover, these people can also improve their financial situations thanks to the higher salaries that are offered to them and this allows them to improve their social life, their houses, their clothes, their everyday quality of livelihood and improve their standard of living. Donc, en arrière, les nécessités de tâche, c'est normal. Allez, ont de better chances, ont de higher salaries. Ils passent nous faire les tomes les chimères ou faire les tomes les les médias. Ils passent nous faire les tomes, faire des arts, faire des voyages, etc. Donc, mais nous mouchons que l'homme le accorde. Right. Another reason worth mentioning is that when these skilled people decide to emigrate, they have better chances to pursue their researches and therefore acquire more skills and uh, more expertise that are unfortunately not always offered in their home countries. Donc la BD de Kitemshi a possibility to do the research. باش يربحوا أكثر تجربة، باش يتعلموا آه مهارات جديدة اللي الله غالب نقولوها ماهمش متواجدين في بل في بلدانهم. This can allow them to progress in their jobs and be offered the professional promotions. Donc يتحسنوا في الخدمة، يترقاو، ياخذوا بروموسيون، بروموسيون هي ترقية. The, so 
they can be offered the prom professional promotions they deserve regardless of their origins or families as it is the case in most developing countries. في برشا دول متخلفة ما يترقى كان اللي عنده لي زوريجين بهين ولا عائلته واصلة ولا اسمه ولا لبس عليه كان يمشيو الدول المتقدمة شنو هو اللي يخليك تترقى في الخدمة متاعك هي الخدمة والإفوغ اللي تعملو أكا On the other hand Brain drain is not always harmful مش ديما حاجة خايبة وهوني باش نعطيو علاش شنو هو البينيفيتس نتاعو In fact The skilled people who travel abroad have the possibility to help their home countries in different ways. First, they can always send their money back home and make the hometown profit from currency income. يبعثوا فلوسهم ودونك الكارنسي شنو هو الكارنسي دوفيز تدخل. Second, They can use part of the money earned abroad and launch projects he has to the project so that they help to revive the local economy and also reduce the unemployment rate. He has no fil economy, we naksu fi shomaj fi boldeno. Finally, when working abroad, these talented expatriates acquire expertise, talent, skills, and experience and then can go back to their home countries and fill in key positions so that they can give a real help to their homelands and contrib contribute to economic growth as a result bon donc le point thalith هل عبيد هذوم اللي تسافر وتخدم لبرا وتقرا لبرا يتحصلوا على شيد يتحصلوا على مهارات يتحصلوا على اكسبيريونس على تالون ومن بعد ينجموا يروحوا لبلدانهم بك الخبره اللي اكتسبوها هذيك الكل ويعاونوا البلدان نتاعهم يخدموا في بلدانهم as a result both developed and developing countries can mutually profit In the final analysis, donc, pshnamlu resume lili kolne, we can assume that brain drain has got many benefits for both the immigrants, the homeland, and the developed countries. Donc, le brain drain, fi barsha hajit behia. Lili pshi sefer, donc, haki na liyom, socialement, économiquement, financièrement, etc. The homeland, بلادك and for the developed countries. Well, that's all about our writing sessions. I hope that was very clear and we'll meet with our last part for this unit, a summary of the unit, a recapitulation about the most important vocab used and the most important grammar points. See you next time.